Almost from the day the Warren Commission published its report, its decision to omit those vital x-rays and photographs has been under attack. Only that physical evidence, say the critics, can finally resolve the debate over how many bullets struck the president, where they came from, and where they went. The central questions in the argument over how many assassins opened fire in Dealey Plaza. More than one critic is charged that the autopsy record in the Warren report is not the original autopsy, but has been changed to conform with the commission's theories. You remember that, after a silence of three and a half years, the doctor who headed the autopsy team at Bethesda Naval Hospital agreed to re-examine those disputed photographs and x-rays and review his findings for these broadcasts. And here is what Captain James Humes told Dan Rather. Well, sir, the report, as I stated, is exactly the way it was delivered and the way it was written. Yet it seems to CBS News that one of the most serious errors made by the Warren Commission was its decision not to look at those photographs and x-rays, an error now compounded. For the Kennedy family, which had possession of the autopsy pictures, agreed last year to donate them to the National Archives, but only with the stipulation that the pictures be locked away for five years, with only certain authorized government personnel allowed to see them. Now, no one would propose that those grim and tragic relics be made generally available to be flashed across television screens and newspaper pages. But in view of their crucial bearing on the entire assassination, we believe that those films should now be made available for independent examination by expert pathologists with the high qualifications of Captain Humes, but without his status as a principal in the case. There is one further piece of evidence which, we feel, must now be made available to the entire public. Abraham Zabruder's film of the actual assassination. The original is now the private property of Life magazine. A Life executive refused CBS News permission to show you that film at any price, on the ground that it is, quote, an invaluable asset of Time Incorporated, unquote. And that even though these broadcasts have demonstrated that the film may contain vital, undiscovered clues to the assassination. Life's decision means you cannot see the Zabruder film in its proper form as motion picture film. We believe that the Zabruder film is an invaluable asset, not of Time Incorporated, but of the people of the United States. Holiday weekenders don't forget to remember. For extra fun, take more than one. Take an extra carton of Coke. Life is much more fun when you're refreshed. And Coke refreshes you best. Swim, fly, drive to your nearest store and look for displays of Coca-Cola. Now. The heartbreak of psoriasis. What does psoriasis look like? It may first appear as a crusty patch on skin or scalp. Can it get worse? Yes, and it can leave skin rough and scaly. Can anything relieve the itching and scaling? Yes, new Tegrin. It's guaranteed, or your money back. Guaranteed to speed relief from itching, work fast to remove scales, and continued use helps keep scales from coming back. Try Tegrin. It's guaranteed. I wear dentures, and I drink eight cups of tea a day. I'm Judy Johnson, and I teach dancing. I know too much tea can stain your dentures, and I've tried all kinds of cleansers. Nothing works quite like Polydent. People believe in Polydent. Nothing gives you cleaner-looking dentures, tasting breath. Any wonder more dentists surveyed recommend Polydent than any other denture cleanser? A CBS News Inquiry. The Warren Report continues. Here again is Walter Cronkite. Until now, we have heard a great deal about the Warren Commission from its friends and its foes. But what of the Warren Commission itself? Where do its seven members stand amidst this torrent of controversy over their performance? 
Chief Justice Warren, who headed the commission, has refused to discuss the Warren report publicly with CBS News or indeed with anyone. But one commissioner has agreed to participate in this broadcast. He is John McCloy, internationally known lawyer, presidential advisor, and former high commissioner for Germany. Mr. McCloy, however objectively the commission may have set about its work, the report itself, it seems to us, may just as well have been entitled The Case Against Lee Harvey Oswald. Are you satisfied that as much effort was put into challenging that case as into establishing it? In other words, did, did the accused man get a fair trial? I'll answer that in just a moment. If I may just say one thing, I, I, which I'd like to say. In the first place, I had some questions as to the propriety of my appearing here as a former member of the commission to comment on the evidence of the commission. It seems to be some question, and I think there is some question about uh, the advisability of doing that, but I'm quite prepared to talk about the procedures and the attitudes of the Commission, and uh, I'm uh, the scope of its uh, conclusions and so forth. But I uh, will now answer, try to answer your question by pointing out that this was an investigation and not a trial. Uh, we didn't have any plaintiff and defendant. This wasn't as, what is known as an adversary proceeding. We were all called upon to come down there to I believe the wording was, the directive from the president, to satisfy yourself, that is the commission, what were the relevant facts in relation to this assassination. And that's the base from which we started. Uh, the, uh, there have been a number of suggestions that, well, that the commission, for example, was only motivated by a desire to, put, to make things quiet, uh, to, so that to give comfort to the, to the administration or to give comfort to the people of the of the country that uh, there was nothing vicious about this. Well, that wasn't the attitude that we uh, had at all. I know what my attitude, when I first went down there, I was convinced there was something phony between the Ruby and the uh, Oswald affair. The 48 hours after the assassination, here's this man shot in the police station. Well, I was rather pretty skeptical about that, but uh, time went on and we heard witnesses and weighed the witnesses. But just think, how silly this charge is. Here we were seven men. I think five of us were Republicans. We weren't beholden to, uh, to any administration. Uh, besides that, we, we had our own integrity to think of. There's a lot of people have uh, said that uh, you can rely upon the distinguished character of the commission. Uh, you don't need to rely on the distinguished character of the commission. Uh, maybe it was distinguished and maybe it wasn't. But you can rely on common sense. And you know that seven men aren't going to get together and uh, uh, that character and, and concoct a conspiracy with all of the members of the staff we had, uh, with uh, all of the, uh, of the investigative agencies. It would have been a conspiracy of a character so mammoth and so uh, vast that it uh, transcends any, even some of the distorted charges of conspiracy on the part of Oswald. What did you do on those visits to Dallas? Well, we went there and walked over the Dealey uh, Plaza, uh, almost it seems to me, foot by foot. Uh, we went in into the school book depository. We talked to all of the uh, police officers there that were there, a number of the witnesses, visited the boarding house, the, the boarding houses that, that Oswald had lived in, retraced step by step uh, his... Uh, his movements from the school book depository to the point at which uh, he was apprehended in the in the theater. We uh, chased ourselves up and down the stairs and timed ourselves. I uh, sat in the window and uh, held the very rifle with the four power scope on it and sighted down across it. See, must have been at the exact spot that whoever the assassin was sat with the carton of boxes as a headrest, snapped the trigger many times saw the, because we had a car moving at the, at the ledge uh, rate. Well, I can go on, uh, but uh, I'm just trying to give you the, the, the impression of, the, of what was the fact that, that we did assiduously uh, uh, follow this uh, evidence and uh, work out as best we could our own judgments in, 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 in uh, relation to it.